Hello grade threes, welcome to math today. So here are the answers to your homework questions. 15 divided by three equals five. 25 divided by five equals five. 24 divided by three equals eight. 12 divided by four equals three. 80 divided by 10 equals eight. And 36 divided by four equals nine. So I hope you didn't have any trouble figuring those out. I hope you were able to use some sort of little counters at home, like you saw me use Cheerios yesterday. I hope you found something like that to help you out. Today, just to give you some different ideas of things you could use, I'm going to use some macaroni for today's lesson. Dry, of course, not cooked. That would get a little bit sticky. So we're going to start with our first question, which is 15 divided by 5. I'm going to demonstrate with counters again and then I'm going to show you another way that you can do it. You may or may not like it as well as this one with the counters. The nice thing about today's method is that you can do it even if you don't have objects to count. So here's our little macaronis. I counted them ahead of time. There's 15 there. So you'll remember what we do is we make groups of five and then we'll see how many groups we have made. So one, two, three, four, five over there. One, two, three, four, five right here. And one, two, three, four, five sitting in this little pile. So I think you can easily see without even having to count that we have made three piles. So that means the answer to 15 divided by five will be three. Oh good, just making sure I didn't make it upside down or backwards, okay. So now I'm going to show you the other way to figure out the answer. And the reason I did it first this way so you could have the answer is that you can see that you get the right answer doing it this way as well. So you can compare when we're done. Now, I said the other day that division is like the opposite of multiplying. Another thing that's true is that division is like extra subtraction. What I mean by that is that as you take away objects to make groups, it's sort of like you're subtracting several different times in order to figure out how many groups you have. So that's what we're actually going to do today is we're going to do what we call repeated subtraction. Remember with the multiplication we had repeated addition, now we have repeated subtraction. So here's how it works. We start with our first number here, which is 15. And we are just going to subtract 5 until we get to 0, okay? So 15 divided by, or sorry, subtract 5 equals, so 15 take away 5 equals 10. All right, so then we do 10 take away 5. And I think you know that from your fingers, 10 take away 5 is another 5. And then of course we have 5 take away 5 and that will equal 0. So now what you do is you look and see how many questions did you have to do to get to 0. So we did this one, that's 1, 2, and then it took us 3 times to get to 0. So that tells us the answer, which as you can see, matches what we found before, number three. So this is another way you can do this. If you're comfortable with subtraction, which I know some of you are very comfortable with that, and if you don't have objects or you don't wanna draw objects, you can use this method instead. So I wanted to show it to you one more time. And this time I wanna go the opposite way. We're gonna subtract first and then we're going to use the macaroni to see if we got it correct. All right, so we have 20 divided by 4. So we're going to keep subtracting 4 from 20 and each number answer we get until we get down to 0. All right, I'll make it a little smaller this time. I don't know if you noticed I started running out of room last night. So 20 minus 4 is equal to 16. All right, so then we go 16 minus 4 equals 12. 
There we go. Had to double check. It is hard to write upside down, just for the record. All right. 12 minus 4 again equals 8. 8 minus 4, if you remember your doubles, equals 4. And, of course, 4 minus 4 equals 0. Okay, so we did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different math questions to get to 0. So that should mean that our answer is 5. I think we better check our work and make sure that's correct. All right, let's take a look here and see. We've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Just making sure. And we're dividing by 4, which means that I need to put them in groups of 4. There we go. 4. It's another 4. There we go. Okay. I have my groups of 4. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. How about that? We have 5 groups. So use whichever method makes the most sense to you right now. All right, either way is a good way to do it. They both have their benefits and drawbacks. Here are your homework questions for the weekend. So make sure and pause the video so you can write them down. Give them a try, use either method that you wish and let me know how it goes. Have a great weekend, bye now.